Hi, welcome back. It's Chi. Oh my gosh, I've been waiting for this since September of last year. Today we're going to do a very important task. We are going to germinate papa seeds. These papa seeds store away since September of last year. These are seeds from fruits I purchased. I saved the seeds, label them, I clean them really well, and then put them in Ziploc bag with moist paper towels. Put them in the fridge for the past four months. Now for papa seed to germinate, you have to tricked it into like what it would do in nature you know uh, it has to go through a period of stratification which means the seeds have to be sleeping or dormant in the cold for three to four months you have to keep them moist and if they're not moist they're not going to be viable for you this is my first time germinated pawpaw seeds now i have germinated other seeds before that are kind of hard like these listen they sound hard, but they're actually not. When I germinate these kind of hard shell seeds, I would um, scratify them, make a little cut, and that will help the germination uh, occur faster and therefore less chance for seeds to get moldy up, get disease, fungal infection, and then die. Now, most importantly, where do you get your seeds from? From a very reliable source. So if the seed come back to you dry, most likely you will not have good germination so the best thing would be um, to buy it from the very reputable source and know what the heck they're doing or you can buy the fruits themselves and store the seed yourself you see it has a little slanted flat and then the pointy more curvy and well this is where the it will sprout out from that flat area this one right here looks like it's trying to sprout out from there you can see that right a little white stuff so these are eight different types one is mixed because i forgot what they were so i just mixed them together so i need eight pots and what i'm going to do is i'm going to divide all the seeds in each category by half half is just the way they are came straight out from uh, stratification of four months and the other one is after stratification I will make a little nick on it you know I scratify it now this gonna look a little bit scary <laughs> yeah no you'll be fine as long as I think you don't cut that flat area you'll be fine scratch it and you can see don't have to be fancy see that it come out and then I can see a little hole in there see the little hole and I'm not even cut into the seed itself. You can feel it, your scissors will go in and you can feel when to stop. And you will see a little white thing. So I just kind of do this and you can lift up a little bit. If you're not sure you can scratch it like that. Yeah, and then you can see that white stuff is not the seed. It's just the inner skin. But once you lift inner skin up, you can see the seed inside. A little opening for water and stuff to go in to wake up the seeds a little bit fast. Don't worry, let's do it. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna leave these in a warm place. A pawpaw tree can survive the frost just fine. So if I want to, I can just germinate this in the pot or outside directly, but I want this to be a little bit faster that's why i'm cheating it's okay this this time it's okay to cheat mother nature is forgiving i'm gonna separate this two sides and then maybe hopefully in a few months we can see the results of the two strategies all the label on the on one side the intact seed i just lay them flat okay and these pots are I believe 14 inches deep. Pawpaw is very hardy. You know, if you don't break the tap roots when you're trying to transplant them, you'll be fine. If they do germinate, I'm not going to leave them in here long. As soon as they get about two, three inches tall, I'm just going to take them out to individual pots. Cover it up with soil. Nothing fancy here. Just old compost leaf, dry leaves from my garden make sure we water that in real good and i will do this for all of them and we'll wait and see so now it's just a waiting game cross my fingers and hope for the best i've divided them out equally on both sides so um, i will tally them up well hopefully we have some germination so i have something to show you 
if my hypothesis is true that if when you um, make a little cut it will speed up the germination process thank you again for watching me sharing my passion until next time ciao